Tonight, a warning for parents as El Paso joins a statewide trend of teens being involved in violent felonies. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Natasha Paloma. I'm Andy Morgan. We are especially seeing this trend with juveniles in the west portion of the state, including here in El Paso. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap is live from the Lower Valley with a look at what we've seen just in the last few weeks in our own community. Shelby has our top story tonight at 10. The El Paso County Juvenile Probation Department tells me that the number of juveniles that have had violent felonies in 2022 went up 47 percent from where they were back in 2021. Oh my God. In this video, you can see the incident from this weekend that left a teen dead and two others with serious okay, burns so after a vehicle that had been reported stolen crashed. Now, according to police, the driver was a 14 year old, and the driver and a 13 year old passenger fled the scene. And also this weekend in Northeast El Paso, police say a 16 year old allegedly attacked two teenagers. Earlier this month, there was that viral video of a teenage girl being arrested at a house party in West El Paso. Police say a teenager was shot at that same party. An El Paso attorney who deals with a lot of juvenile cases, Omar Carmona, says he has seen an increase in youth in El Paso having weapons. And I think it's because they are getting money to pay for these weapons. Uh, and, you know, how they're earning that money, drugs, uh, uh, I see a lot of kids are helping um, the human smuggling. Carmona also saying he has seen an increase in youths posting weapons and money on social media. There's a big rise in gangs. Um, and, and again, I think a lot of that has to do with uh, the attraction. Uh, you know, people posting cash all over Instagram. And I think younger kids see that and say, hey, how can I make some cash? The FBI of El Paso noticing the same. With social media, they're very comfortable and it's their primary means of communication. So, yes, we have seen an increase of young adults where we've seen a lot of young adults ha um, participating in a lot of violent crime across the nation. The FBI El Paso reminding the community that if they see a post on social media that is a threat to make sure and report it, and that attorney saying that it's up to parents to make sure they are monitoring their children's social media. Reporting live from the Lower Valley, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News.